<clears throat> We're gonna starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. We're okay. We have a few cans of food and a rabbit. For what, 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. We were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> when we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough of this. We'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted off. Starving will be preferred. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if this game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. <coughs> Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. You're never too old to learn, I imagine. Come on, this way. So welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks for joining me. My name's Mac from LOE. So we're going hunting. Uh, we've got our hand Solo Hoff jacket on and a new bow. So uh, yeah, there's no stopping us. So let's go and see what a uh, poor bugger we're going to kill. Got a feeling it's going to be Bambi. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. So what we'll do, guys, we'll let these two have a little chat, and when we're a bit nearer, uh, we will see you there. See you in a moment. Welcome back, guys. So we're on, still on the trail. Um, got a feeling we're going to find something in a minute. See some of the ground uncovered here. Let's look down this way. So this is Charles, he's a, a bit of a tracker really. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh, stay quiet. So this is the right guy to go hunting with. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. like a crocodile dundee isn't he and his deer been here recently how can you tell how can you not we track them on foot right Keep down move quietly and slowly right so we're in the crouchy position let's go and get our tea i think so Maybe not. Focus. Right, let's use Eagle Eye. Ah, oh, right, there we go. So there's the track. So we can focus on that. Let's see where it takes us. 
It's easier in the snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and wood. So it's down this way. It's got to be nice and quiet, so whatever it is we're hunting. I hope it's a sheep or something, then we can have a doner kebab. Let's see where it's gone the trail, right over here. Down this way, I feel like the predator stalking my prey. I've not got like a shoulder cannon or nothing, though, unfortunately. Shh. Oh, right, there he is. Down there. You see him? Yeah. Quick, get that bow out, Arthur. Okay. Aim for their head or neck. We want a good, clean kill. You can pull right, back, and so you feel when it's too much. Nice. See if you can get another one. Right, we've got that. I'll head over to him. And hopefully, we can pick up another trail. Get his brother. Right. Okay. There's a trail over here. Goes down there. God, this is stressful. Obviously you couldn't just go with the chippy for your tea. Get a sausage dinner. Yeah, it was a bit harder in these days, wasn't it? Someone up there it might be. Yeah it is, I think. We'll get a bit closer. Get down, its head's come up there. You see it up there. Right, again, okay. just try and get behind this rock. I think, oh, there he is. Little bugger. Is still alive. Jesus, it must have ar armor on it. Oh, yeah, it's like there's been a bloody massacre. How's it still living? Right, where did he get? We can follow that blood trail. Gone, I can hear it. It's not very happy. Oh dear! Right, I think we'll put it out of its misery. Well done. I think that's all we can that wasn't very good, was it? Okay. You pick up one, I'll get the other. Right. You sure your hands let's okay? pick this one up. Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on my shoulder. Okay. Right, we'll whistle for Charlie. Yeah, that was a bit traumatic, wasn't it? 
I don't think uh, Sir David Attenborough will be watching. We'll be alright. Alright, let's stow it on the horse. Bloody hell, can you not come a bit nearer? He's a lazy bugger, this horse. Well, at least we've got our tea. There we go, lovely. Right, let's head back. Right, we'll meet up with Charles. That wasn't too bad, was it? Messed her up a little bit. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice on the barbie, that. Bit of venison. Let's go. Come on then. Let's head back. All right, guys, we'll head back to camp, and when we're a bit nearer, we will see you there. See you in a mo. Welcome back. So we're just getting back to camp now. Um, so it looks like we're going to hitch up, and then we'll get the deer to Mr. Pearson. I'm going to hitch time over here. Right, okay, let's hit Charlie up. Back, boys. Right, hit him up. Oh, we're gonna have venison chops and chips for tea. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Oh, no, thank right, you for moving. showing me how to use the boat properly. I only showed you a little. Oh. A lifetime of practice, Charlie's man. just having a crap. Right. Well, well, well. <sighs> Just drop it down in here. Where are we pop that? Bring it over then. What a surprise. Find a camp rat loitering around. There's the uncle. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid. He loves me really. It's his sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yes, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. Do I get to skin you? <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skin that one that you dumped on the floor there. All right, we're going to do a bit of uh, butchering. Oh, let's do it. This is not going to be very nice. Not too bad, Mr. Morgan. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town if you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. Been a bad few weeks, but Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans, and Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I don't mind you to show me some respect, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Rev. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. 
and you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Parsons, I think it's time for the train. You want me to go? Of course I do, but look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch? Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. You see me now. What's left of me? What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marcy. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway man. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? He's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. Dutch! Gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. Right, looks like we're going to train robbing. So I think what we'll do, guys, we'll leave it there for this episode, and then in the next one, we'll go and rob that bloody train. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like what you saw and you would consider subscribing, that'd be absolutely bonza. But until next time, Earthlings, take it easy.